It's just your average infield practice at Brookstone High School. All of these first basemen are going through the same motions. Well, everyone except Jake Martin. It started off, I had to drop my glove on the ground to throw the ball, and then as time went on, I figured out how to hold it in my left hand and switch it on and off. If you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't see it because it's it just looks so natural to him. Watch as Jake fields the ball, quickly takes off his glove while his body keeps the baseball in place before throwing it back to the catcher. Why does he do it that way? Well, Jake has always done things a little differently. Just trial and error figuring out something that's comfortable for me and that worked and to be successful. Jake was born premature and as a result, his left hand never fully developed. It looks like this. They split my fingers apart because I was born with them together and I haven't had a surgery since then and just really just been the same since. When you watch Jake play, you don't even notice he has an underdeveloped hand. He plays first base, he pitches, and he hits. Most people would see it as a disability. But Jake doesn't. He didn't want a free pass. Uh, he wants to be treated just like every other player on the team, and, and that's the way we treat him, that's the way his teammates treat him. Because when you look at Jake, you don't notice the way he fields a ball differently, the way he holds his glove upside down at the mound, or the way he guides his swing with one hand. Jake is a normal guy. He's a silent inspiration who's just like everyone else. He does everything we do, sometimes better than some of us, and, and um, that's it's kind of awesome for us to see that he, even though he has that, it's that he still can do everything we can. It's, it's really impressive. Some things were harder than others, but you just had to push through and really figure out a way to complete it yourself. I mean, if I couldn't complete something, it'd drive me crazy until I could get it done. And so that's really the motto, I'd say, is just really stick to it if you want to pursue it. After all, who needs two hands and ten fingers to play baseball? Reporting from Brookstone High School, I'm Jenna Calary for WLTZ First News Sports.